Mayor Tecklenburg here. Glad to be with you this All Saints Day as we commemorate all the souls who've been lost this year to COVID-19. I'll play a song uh, from my youth, see if you uh, recognize the melody. Interlude from Layla by Derek and the Dominoes. Thank you. 
The first lesson comes from Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The second lesson comes from Revelation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
I speak to you in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Ma Bell, remember her? It was the telephone company. But in 1984, with a little prodding from the U.S. Justice Department, Ma Bell broke itself up into seven regional Bell operating companies known as the Baby Bells. Our local phone company was part of the Baby Bell called 9X. And 9X had two memorable and catchy jingles. We are the one for you, New England, New England Telephone, and we are all connected, New York Telephone. It's that word connection that I wish to highlight for all saints 2020. Here's another quote. We are all connected to each other biologically, to the earth chemically, to the rest of the universe atomically. That's from Neil deGrasse Tyson, the American astrophysicist. Or another take on connection from Ubuntu. This term of the Zulu tribe from South Africa translates to, I am a person through other people. My humanity is tied to yours. Ubuntu embodies the reality that everyone is inherently connected, that our humanity is ubiquitous, shared thing that should be honored and respected. Ubuntu recognizes the interdependent nature of humanity. Even without us doing anything, we're already tied to one another. We're already connected. Edward Farrell's book, Prayer is a Hunger, clearly identifies the primary obstacles in prayer and everyday life, and I would submit to recognizing our connectedness. Three main obstacles, he says, are inertia, amnesia, and manana. We are all subject to forgetfulness of God's faithfulness in the past of laziness to act on the divine promise, and postponing until tomorrow what Jesus is asking of us today. I believe those same characteristics are blocks and obstacles to mission, as well as to a healthy sense of connectedness. Amnesia, inertia, and manana. To overcome amnesia, we are invited to remember. Remember who we are. Remember who we are connected to. To overcome inertia, we are invited to join in the holy work with those who have gone before us and those who will follow in our steps. And to overcome manana, we are given the gift of today where tears are wiped away and everything new is set before us, all of us. So how can that help us unlock the good news for today? What word of hope can we hear from the sacred story? From Isaiah, we heard that here on this mountain, God will throw a feast for all the people of the world, a feast of the finest foods, a feast with vintage wines, a feast of seven courses, a feast lavish with gourmet desserts. And here on this mountain, says Isaiah, God will banish the pall of doom hanging over all peoples. That shadow of doom darkening all nations, yes, He'll banish death forever. And here on this mountain, says Isaiah, God will wipe the tears from every face. He'll remove every sign of disgrace from his people wherever they are. Yes, God says so. Also at that time, the people will say, look at what's happened. 
This is our God. We waited for him and he showed up and saved us. This God, the one we waited for. Let us celebrate. Let us sing the joys of his salvation. God's hand rests upon this mountain. So, do you want to go to this mountain? We're all connected there. Or in the, the book of Revelation, I saw a new heaven and new earth created. Gone the first heaven, gone the first earth, gone the sea. And I heard this voice from the throne. Look, look, God has moved into the neighborhood, making his home with men and women. They're his people. He's their God. He'll wipe every tear from their eyes. Death is gone for good. Tears, gone. Crying, gone. Pain, gone. All the first order of things, gone. And God says, look, I'm making everything new. Write it down. Each word, dependable and accurate. God said, it has happened. I am A to Z. I am the beginning. I am the conclusion. From the water of life well, I will give freely to the thirsty. Conquerors inherit all of this. I'll be God to them, and they will be sons and daughters to me. So do you want to go to this new Jerusalem? We're all connected there. The Bible, the sacred story of God acting in history on our behalf, says we're all connected. Connected to God, all connected to one another. Amnesia, inertia, manana tend to mask that reality. Tend to hide it, tend to cover it up, tend to deny it. So here's the reality of All Saints Day. 2020. We are all connected. Not because some Madison Avenue focus group was pitched the idea by 9x 30 years ago. It's precisely because God created us, rescued us, and has knit us together. God knits us together whether our tribe came from, from Southeast Asia or the Baltics or Zululand or the Mississippi Delta. God knits us together whether our tribe lived in 325 AD or 1066 or 1941 or 2020. God knits us together whether our tribe's skin pigmentation is red or yellow or black or white or any gradation, variation or adaptation. God has knit us together whether our tribe's income is barely discernible as we walk five miles a day just to find drinkable water, or if we live in the mansion on the hill. My friends, we are knit together, connected. All Saints 2020 invites us to recognize and affirm our common bond and union with all Christians of all times, women and men, rich and poor, all ethnicities and races from all times and places join together as one body. Not because of who we are, what we have, or what we've done, but because God in Christ calls us holy and blessed and has set us apart to be witnesses to God's grace and goodness. Now, All Saints 2020 also invites us to pray for those who have gone before us, loved ones and friends, those near and dear that we remember in our hearts, with our flowers, with our songs, to be one too. But particularly this year, we remember those who died from the coronavirus, COVID-19. Close to 225,000 deaths in the United States. Almost 1.2 million deaths worldwide. Has anything else disrupted our routines and habits like this worldwide pandemic? 
We pray in the prayer book, O God, the strength of the weak and comfort of all who suffer. So for those who suffered loss this year, Lord, have mercy. For our first responders and frontliners, Lord, we thank you. For a vaccine and therapeutics, Lord, we implore you. But let's not stop there with our prayers and action. There is another pandemic afoot. 2020 has given us a powerful new book, Cast, The Origins of Our Discontents, by Isabel Wilkerson. And she names the pandemic for what it is. Wilkerson's main thesis is that three caste systems have stood out in human history. The vanquished caste system of Nazi Germany that said Aryans are greater than Jews. The lingering millennia long caste system of India that says Brahmins are better than Dalits. And the unspoken race-based caste pyramid in the United States. White is greater than black. It's a pandemic in our own country, state, and city. For those who suffer loss and pain this year from this pandemic, Lord have mercy. For our first responders and frontliners in this pandemic, Lord, we thank you. And for a therapeutic change of heart in the midst of this pandemic, Lord, we implore you. So do you want to go to the mountain? We're all connected there. Do you want to go to the new Jerusalem? We're all connected there. All Saints 2020 says the first 10 months of this year cannot will not have the determinative word. God is God, called us as sons and daughters, wipes away our tears, sets us on a path of righteousness as witnesses to God's grace, God's goodness. Henry Nouwen puts it this way, one of life's hardest spiritual choices, to trust, or not to trust in God's all-forgiving love. I invite you on All Saints 2020 to trust the God of the mountain, the God of the New Jerusalem, the God who calls us all home, who loses nothing or anyone, the God who gives us the tools to fight every pandemic in our path, the God who says we are all connected. Amen.
That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat thee, O Lord. That thy holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat thee, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offences, we entreat thee, O Lord, that there may be peace to thy church and to the whole world, we entreat thee, O Lord, that we may depart this life in thy faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord, that we may be bound together by thy Holy Spirit in communion of Stephen and all thy saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat thee, O Lord. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord. And in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen.